the Baron and Pan Palace. Heliopolis style is an early 20th architecture style developed in the new suburb of Heliopolis in eastern uh, Cairo, Egypt. The Belgian Cairo Electric uh, Railways uh, and Heliopolis uh, Osis Company, responsible for planning and developing the new suburb, created the new style to implement an exclusive distinctiveness to the design of its uh, buildings. Yes, and uh, actually the monuments of Cairo are all fascinating uh, to visit and offer an insight into ancient uh, civilizations and customs, but uh, this particular place uh, as I mentioned earlier, is uh, very interesting, and uh, there is a lot of mystery surrounding uh, this uh, place, uh, which was uh, built between 1907 and 1911, uh, and designed by French architect Alexandre Marcel, uh, and decorated by Georges Louis Claude, uh, inspired uh, by the Hindu temple of Angkor Wat in uh, Cambodia. Now, our colleague uh, Rasha Modi came here and uh, made a special report about uh, the Baron Palace. Let's watch the report and we'll be right back. The Baron Palace, an Indian jewel in North Cairo. The Baron and Pan Palace, or the Hindu Palace, is a distinctive historic mansion built between 1907 and 1911 by the Belgian millionaire, industrialist, amateur Egyptologist and founder of Heliopolis, Edward Louis Joseph Baron en Pan in Heliopolis, a suburb which he created east of Cairo. Inspired by Angkor Wat in Cambodia, and the Hindu temples of Orissa. The Baron and Pan Palace was designed by French architect Alexandre Marcel and decorated by Georges Louis Claude, with construction being completed in 1911. <music> Edward Baron en Pain came to Egypt in January 1904, intending to rescue one of his construction projects, a railway line linking Mansoura to Matariya. Despite losing the railway contract to the British, Ampin fell in love with Egypt and stayed on in it. In 1906, Ampin established his own companies in Egypt and bought a very large stretch of desert, 25 square kilometers to the northeast of Cairo. He later on built his palace in that area, which now is the area of Heliopolis. The palace's oriental style bellies any number of intriguing features beside the material of its construction, which is concrete. The palace and its gardens cover an area of 12,500 square meters. The facade of the palace is beautifully ornated with sculptures of Hindu divinities, as well as beautiful and elegant sculptures of elephants, as well as several mystical Hindu figures. To reach the palace, one has to ascend verdant terraces, each with its own statues set amid exotic vegetation. The exterior is covered with statues of Hindu deities, mythical creatures and elephants. The palace is relatively small from within. It consists of two floors housing seven rooms and a four-story tower located on the left side. The interior is now bare, but once boasted frescoes, gilded doors and Belgian mirrors, all designed by Georges-Louis Claude. They were stripped away by looters long ago. As for the left tower, it is accessed through a beautifully decorated spiral staircase decorated with marble, bronze and wood. Its windows and balconies are supported by beautiful Hindu, Buddhist and Orissa statues, many of which are inlaid with ivory. The interior of the palace's main tower is said to have been built on a revolving base to allow a 360-degree view and constant sunlight. 
As for the roof of the palace, it was designed for balls and banquets, richly decorated with floral and animal motifs. Baron Ampin lived in Egypt till the start of World War I. That's when he returned to Belgium where he died in 1929, but in his will he asked to be buried in Egypt. Ampin's son occupied the palace after his father's death, but by 1952 the estate had been sold. In 2005 the palace was bought by the Egyptian government and is under restoration.